Hello everyone, my name is General Fancy Pants, and welcome back to The Secret Files Tunguska. When we last left off, we were continuing to explore the castle here, and... Well, I guess we got to the castle, and now we're exploring it. And we are trying to find a way to get Ken Morangi out of the well. He uh, was either thrown down there or fell in there, we're... And we need to get him out. So we did uncover this secret passage here, so let's take a look at that. Alright, and again there's a little bit of a graphical error there, but I'll stop pointing those out because... <laughs> uh, just because. Alright, so this poor fellow has seen better days, so who knows how long he's been down there. Obviously a long time, he's only bones now. But we have a bridge here, and we have this little niche in there's the wall. There's a niche in the rock, but I can't see if there's something in it from here. Okay. Um, it doesn't look like we really have anything that would light, uh, illuminate that area. The distance to the other side is not particularly great, but to jump over the Drana Bridge, that is something that somebody has obviously tried before. Yes, right there. Okay, so we can't really do anything, at least so far. So let's head back upstairs and leave this room. Let's head into the passageway. A real torture chamber? I think something like this in a museum is really amusing. But when I look around here and imagine that people really were tortured to death here, I don't find it so funny anymore. Hmm. Alright, so let's take a look at some of these uh, contraptions here. The Iron Maiden. It's obvious why that thing is called the Iron Maiden. The thorns are so sharp, I wouldn't touch them voluntarily either. Okay, there's a chain right here. They were probably used to chain up prisoners in earlier times. Hmm. Let's take it. Alright, our inventory is getting pretty full right now. Alright, the rack. Ideal for people whose height to weight ratio does not correspond to today's ideal of beauty. <laughs> I'm actually quite happy with my figure as it is at the moment. Okay. Fair enough. The coals are cold. Hmm. Cold, you say? You're the pair of players here. I don't want to imagine what these used to be used for in the torture chamber. I don't either, but we're going to take them. And that's nothing. Well, it's something, but nothing we can look at. How about the cage? Ooh, decoration. I really hope that it is only decoration. Anything else in here? I'm just going to hit the search button just to be sure. Oh, no, there is something here. Oh, the cage, I see. Okay. Um, the rack is obviously we can do something with it because I can interact with it, but what that is, I don't know. Let's head back down. I don't think there's anything here, or left here. Let's head back into this doorway and take a look at this picture again because... The painting is of Lord William Morangi, who lived here from 1270 to 1305. What an impressive guy. So this is the guy that, in um, the bedroom, there's a statue there, and we put a shield and a sword in his hand, and we were hearing clicking sounds, and I didn't really know what that was relating to, but it looks like there's like a ring or something right here. And maybe a necklace too. So maybe there's more pieces to the puzzle on that statue. So what is down here? Is this where I just came from? Oh, nope. This is a burial area here. Tomb? I'm assuming that the torch is always burning here to honor the dead. 
The torch is fastened to the wall. I won't be able to get it off there so easily. Okay. What about the coffin? I believe this is the last resting place of one of Lord Morangi's ancestors. The coffin is made of massive stone. No chance. Alright, nothing else there for us. So let's head back to this passageway and head to... the door. So this is the statue I was referring to, and it looks like maybe... Maybe the iron chain will suffice as a necklace. I can't imagine that the lord of the castle wore a simple chain around his neck. He must be missing a pendant or something. Okay. So maybe how about the wire? Would that work as a ring? We can sort of, you know, tighten it up and... Nope. Just a thought. So we do need a necklace then too. Huh, we can use the players on the gold coin. Hmm, that's interesting. Oh, I thought maybe like that would be the necklace. <laughs> no such luck. Um, can we use a stone on anything? Just seeing what we can might use some of this stuff for. Hmm. Can we make a spear out of the torch and the spearheads? Nope. Alright, so we are missing something here. Something important. I wonder if we have to do something in the torture room. Like, can we start the, the fire up? The coals burn pretty well, even without the oil. The coals are cold. Okay, so we can... Oh, I wonder if... This is just long shot here, I think. But can we light the torch with this torch? Alright, we have a burning torch. Now let's head back. And see if maybe we can light the fire with the torch. Hey, there we go. Now can we like make a ring using the players of the gold coin? I'm not sure. I think I'd better take the coin out of the fire again, otherwise the gold will flow into the forge. Yeah, that wouldn't be good. Okay, so it looks like maybe we can use the spears. I don't know, we can use the spears on it. Let's the see what it does. The spear tips are too big and too wide to work on the small coin. Okay. Um... How about the wire? Nope. Or the gold... The chain? Hmm. Let's see. A simple tin cup. Maybe we have to... Please, row across the lake twice and already my arms are ready to fall off. I really should exercise more. Here's what I'm thinking. Oh, the fisherman is, oh, yeah, the fisherman is gone. It's very yeah, interesting. Nice collection. I hope they aren't all from today. Hmm. We need some water. And so we can cool off the... Or not? Huh. Could have sworn we needed water to cool off the burning... Um, or the hot metal so that we can actually... Manipulate it. There's salty seawater in it. Hmm. 
Not sure. Sorry for the back and forth, but at least it doesn't take long to get to where I'm going to. Could have sworn this is what we need to do. Maybe, um... Yeah, I could have sworn this is because we need to cool this off to do anything with it. Let's see. There's something else we're missing here. We did try the spearheads on the coin, and he said that it was too. They're too. The tips are too big. I wonder if we can use it on the spikes in the Iron Maiden. The tip easily penetrated the gold coin. I think I'd better not imagine how it would look if I were stuck between these thorns. Okay, so now we have a ring. We're creating the one ring, of course. There we go, now we have a gold ring. So now let's head back to the bedroom and see if our statue here will take it. Sounds like I triggered some kind of mechanism again. Alright, so something is going on, and I think it's down here that it's happening. Yep. That's exactly what's going on. So when I put this sword and the shield up, something was going on, and I think it was coming from down here. And now I see these gate like these gates here, and I wonder if it was raising up like once I put the sword up on him, one gate raised, and then the other gate raised with the shield. But now we can freely pass by here. There's a small key. Let's go another look at oh, good thing I looked at that. <laughs> I forgot about it almost. Alright, so we have a key for him there. Now we have I have no clue how I'm supposed to get through the bars. I have no clue how I'm supposed Alright, so that means that we have to go back and complete the statue. So I'm guessing we still need a helmet and the necklace. So I haven't found An anywhere. Dream. <laughs> I haven't found anywhere where I think I needed a key for anything yet. I don't think so anyway. And I think I've explored everywhere I can, so I guess it's time to go back to the mainland. Let's go back in here because there was that board back here. This one that we couldn't take off at that at the time, but now we can potentially, maybe with the players or the spearheads, I'm not sure. But we can pull out the nails off of this board. Okay, so now we have a long board. Maybe we can make some spears out of it. Nope. <laughs> it was worth a try. Um, what else might be able to do with that? Because I'm still not sure what... I'm getting nowhere with this board. At this length, I'd always be afraid of destroying something. Or someone. Okay. What happened to my board? Um, board? Where did you go? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Oh man, I was freaking out. I thought I lost my board. <laughs> oh, freaky. Alright, let's see if we can cut this board down a little bit. We have a vice here, so let's put it in there. Oh, we can't. Hmm. What can we put in the vice? I guess we'll start at the beginning here. I pinched my finger in one of these when I was younger. Ouch. 
Oh, the spearheads. Okay. I've now wedged the spear tips into the vise without mutilating my fingers. The ultimate proof that one never ceases to learn in life. Okay, so it looks like we could potentially maybe use that as a saw. Kind of looks like a... Looks like saw blades there, and it looks like actually that is what I need to do. I'm going to try to saw the board into a tolerable size with the tips of the spears. This plank is still very long, but now it's almost transportable. Okay. Um, I don't know how that actually worked with those spearheads, but... Hey, whatever. We, we did what our purpose was. Can we take those spearhead bits back? Although the tips of the spears are very old and have already seen action, they are still pretty sharp. Okay. Let's see what else we might be able to take while we're here. Nothing here, but maybe there's something in the pub again that we're missing. Let's do a search scene, because I don't want to just go like that. Traffic sign. Oh, there's a rain gutter right here. That wasn't there before. I don't think that the rain gutter was made for this amount of water. Apparently not. Anyway, it's just lying around here, in the way. Okay, so now we have a rain gutter. <laughs> uh, we have a very odd assortment of things, and I'm just, I don't know how these are all going to come together, but they will. Trust me. Alright. Is there anything in here that we can... Is everybody gone? Everybody's gone now. I don't wow. Want to deprive the barkeeper of his. Okay, so I guess that means that we're done here. So all that's left to do is just to continue working in the castle. Then. Oh, I love how fast that we can transition between scenes. It's so, so nice. Oh wait, 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 wait. Can we use the board to pry open the coffin? Nope. And the gutter obviously won't work, so... Okay, just thought I'd give it a try. Um, let's go here. Can we use the board on the rack, or the... Okay, so we can use the gutter on the rack. Let's try this that. This is how I could separate the two pieces that are wedged tightly. Oh, okay, yep, that makes sense, because... That's how ring gutters are attached, is that there are sections that are pushed together. So now I have two pieces of rain gutters. Are we making, like, some kind of uh, shin guards? I don't remember seeing that on the king. The painting is of Lord William Morangi, who lived or here Lord. from 1270 oh, yeah, to 1305. What an impressive guy. Yep, yeah, there we go. So there's the lead guards. Here's the necklace. So we probably will have to do a helmet and even maybe a belt yet. Okay. So let's see if these will work here. Sounds like I triggered some kind of mechanism again. Alright, let's just go down there just to take a look. See which gate opened up. I think I'm going to make this a little bit extra long episode so that we can just get through this part because we're so close, I think, to getting to Ken Moranji that we might as well just get to him. Now, the next piece of the puzzle would be a necklace and probably a helmet. Yep, he already has the belt. So a necklace and a helmet. What can we use... The only thing we haven't really actually done anything with is... Ah, I went the wrong way. This chandelier. 
small stool. There's a clock with the pendulum is still moving, but it's broken, so there must be something that the clock has in it as well that we need. Okay, we have a... We can use the board on the stool. That's interesting. I wonder what that's going to do. Let's see what it does. Okay, I'm already seeing like how the chandelier will fall on it, and I'm not sure what that's going to do, though. Let's see what happens if we hit the lever. The chain moved a bit. I think I'd better release the lever again, otherwise the chandelier that's hanging from the chain will fall down. Okay. Can we, like, add chain to it? No. Hmm. Oh, put the stone. There we go. I'm not sure what we're doing here, why we're making this catapult here. It seems as if this fireplace has not had a fire burning in it for a long time. All right, so now we have our lever, or our catapult, I guess you call it. Okay. <laughs> um, oh, let's go back and check that out. Oh, we can't, okay. Never mind. The previous cover for the chimney. Oh, okay. And that would make a good helmet. So now we have a helmet. Now I just have to figure out... What do we do with... Sounds like I triggered some kind of mechanism again. All right, so that probably opens up that last gate. Maybe that's all we need. Maybe that necklace isn't part of the puzzle? Because we can get through here now. Aha, uh -huh, some rubble. The ceiling is caved in here. And a door. The door cannot be opened. Why not? Use the key on it? Or burn it down? Okay, I think I'm going to call it an episode right here. Next time we'll figure out how to open this door and hopefully uh, Ken will be on the other side of it. So, I will see you guys next time on Secret Files Tunguska. Until then.